Thank you for joining us today on Denver 7 News at 11. I'm Nicole Brady. And I'm Molly Hendrickson. It is a first alert action day with blizzard conditions out east. The brunt of the storm missed most of the metro. But take a look at this live CDOT camera app. This is I-70 is shut down from Air Park all the way into Kansas because of the blowing snow and whiteout conditions. Wow, we have team coverage tracking the first alert action day conditions. Micah Smith is out there east on I-70 where a road closure is impacting a lot of people trying to travel. And Connor Wist is spending time with some kids who are getting a snow day today. And Katie LaSalle is here pulling double duty today, <laughs> tracking both the blizzard and those road conditions. And let's start with Katie. Katie, are we through the worst of it? <laughs> the worst of it in Denver, yes, but still the eastern plains will continue to see the bulk of this storm, some heavy blowing snow and also the gusty winds. The cold conditions, though, that'll stick around throughout the majority of the day today, so just be prepared for that bitter cold. If you're spending any time outside, make sure you, the kids, are well bundled up. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, the heaviest snow now moving out of the state, a blizzard warning just about to expire from Lyman out toward Burlington. That'll end right here at 11 o'clock and look Looking at a closer view of the radar, the snow moving mainly east of the Denver metro area out near Watkins is our heaviest bands and then into the foothills as well. We're still seeing some lingering snow showers, not a lot more in the way of accumulation though across the majority of the Denver area. So hour by hour as we go throughout the day, partly to mostly cloudy skies, but it is going to stay cold. Our high temperatures will only top out right around freezing, clearing skies overnight. The storm will move off to our east, but we will be left with some very chilly temperatures early tomorrow morning before things start to gradually warm up. So low 30s for today and then a little more sunshine and highs back in the 40s for tomorrow. Well, even though the plains are getting the worst of it right now, the high country is also managing the snowfall they've had recently. CDOT had to shut down both directions of I-70 between Vail and Copper Mountain for avalanche reduction. All that snow, of course, is much needed, but it has made for some pretty dangerous avalanche conditions. But out east, I-70 is still shut down because of whiteout conditions. So let's get back to Katie now. She's keeping an eye on the closure all morning. Yeah, we've been seeing uh, I-70 east and westbound close right there at Air Park all morning long, and it continues to be shut down from there all the way out to the Kansas border through Burlington. So we have some blizzard like conditions with the blowing snow, gusty winds, and then also further down to the south, Highway 83. That's still closed north and southbound right there through Franktown and US 24 as well from Colorado Springs out to Lyman. Across much of the metro area, our roads are wet, but we're still seeing some spotty accidents around town. A lot of our neighborhoods and side streets, those are going to be the slickest spots. So if you are spending any time outside, yes, the skies will gradually clear, but also just be extra vigilant on the roads for today, guys. All right, well, obviously that closure is impacting a lot of people who live out on the Eastern Plains. And CDOT says high winds and drifting snow continue to make road conditions very dangerous right now. Our Micah Smith is there now, and how is traffic looking right now, Micah? Well, Molly and Nicole, traffic is flowing pretty smoothly. We're not seeing a lot of cars out on the roadway, but CDOT is forcing cars to get off on exit 292 right now. And again, this closure began at 2 this morning and now stretches all the way to the Kansas border. So if you're traveling by car this way, you can expect a few delays. Another place facing delays this morning is the airport at Den Denver International Airport. Due to ice and snow, a traffic management program is in effect for arriving flights. Arriving flights on average will be be delayed by about 56 minutes. We talked to a few passengers who were not directly affected yet by those delays, but told us the weather in general is having an impact on their travel day. On the way here, we actually had to take a detour because there was a wreck. And um, usually it takes like 30 minutes. I've been here a couple times, so it usually takes 30 minutes from the airport to the hotel we were staying at. And it took two hours. Uh, we have another group behind us on some other flights in St. Louis that are we've heard are on delay because there was, I guess, a ground stop here in Denver, and uh, I guess they'll rejoin us later. No estimate yet from CDOT on when I-70 will reopen, but CDOT is asking everyone to avoid the eastern plains right now. Reporting live, Micah Smith, Denver 7. Well, CDOT was ready for this. They had the plows out since yesterday to pre-treat the roads and clear some snow. We actually have features in our trucks that can that measure the temperature of the road so they can tell you that feeds back into our central system which then tells you when that road's going to start freezing over when it's going to when ice is going to start developing and when we need to start putting out material to make sure that those roads are are safe 
you can see where CDOT's plows are in real time. Just go to their website and click on the tab that says snow plows. And we are staying on top of all the closures and delays right now on our website. Just head over to the denverchannel.com and check out our blog. That's where we're updating all the delays and closures in real time.